Who is Michael Collins, the lesser known participants of the Apollo 11 mission? On May 25, 1961, then US President John F. Kennedy had set a goal for the Apollo mission to perform a crude lunar landing and return to Earth. Michael Collins, the pilot of the Apollo 11 spacecraft that carried Neil Armstrong and Edwin Budge Aldrin into the moon, died on Wednesday in Florida at the age of 90 while battling cancer. The Apollo 11 mission On May 25, 1961, then US President John F. Kennedy had set a goal for the Apollo 11 mission to perform a crude lunar landing and return to Earth. After eight years on July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 launched from Cape Kennedy in Florida carrying Commander Neal, Commander Module Pilot Collins and Lunar Module Pilot Aldrin. Apollo 11 became one of the most publicly recognized missions of NASA and was first manned mission to the moon. At a cost of around 24 billion, the US sent three young men on a human adventure of mythological proportions with the whole of the civilized world invited to watch for better or worse the los angeles times wrote in july 1969 an estimated 650 million people watched armstrong's televised image as he took his first step on the moon and said the famous words one small step for man one giant leap for mankind Even so, while Armstrong and Aldrin, the Toy Story character Buzz Lightyear, was named after him, became well known around the world for being the first human to step on the moon, Collins did not receive widespread recognition. As Armstrong and Aldrin stepped on the lunar surface, Collins remained in lunar orbit, taking rounds of the moon in the command module, called Columbia, for over 21 hours. Collins was also an important link between mission control and the astronauts during this time. In the preface of to the 2009 edition of Collins autobiography Carrying Fire, an astronaut's journey, he wrote, "Every once in a while I look up at the moon, but not too often. Been there, done that. When I look back at Earth from the moon, if I could use only one word to describe the tiny thing, it would have been fragile," he added. Collins career In October 1963 Collins was one of the third group of astronauts named by NASA and served as a backup pilot for Gemini 7 mission before piloting the Apollo 11 mission Collins was a pilot on a 3 day Gemini 10 mission which was launched on July 18 1966 During the Apollo mission Collins performed the final redocking maneuvers following a successful lunar orbit rendezvous among the accomplishments of the apollo 11 mission were collection of lunar surface samples from for return to earth deployment of lunar surface experiments and an extensive evaluation of the life supporting extra vehicular mobility unit worn by astronauts nasa notes in 1970 collins left nasa and went to become the director of the national air and space museum in washington collins was presented with the presidential medal for freedom in 1969 and became the recipient of the nasa exceptional service medal the air force command pilot astronaut wing and the air force distinguished flying cross subsequently in the preface of his book collins wrote on my tombstone should be inscribed lucky because that is the overriding feeling i have today Lynn Armstrong was born in 1930, Buzz Aldrin in 1930, Michael Collins in 1930. We came along at exactly the right time. Thank you.